Hi guys, Alec Pierce Scuba, and this is the Vintage Scuba channel. Uh, now, we haven't had a whole lot of Vintage Scuba uh, episodes out in the last little while uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, uh, but we had a lot of requests for some more Vintage Scuba stuff, and I still have lots of Vintage Scuba. <laughs> oh boy, I've been selling Vintage Scuba regulators and BCs and stuff like crazy. Books, magazines, all kinds of stuff, but um, uh, I still have lots and lots left. So I can talk about vintage scuba forever. Well, I mean, I am a vintage scuba. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so we're back with vintage scuba, and we're going to have regular uh, regular episodes. Kevin's getting it all lined up now and have lots of interesting stuff for you to uh, watch on my channel. And I, I hope you really enjoy it. Keep the comments coming in. You ask questions, and uh, we'll do our best to answer them and maybe do episodes based on your questions. That's kind of exciting. So what's up for today? Well, Interestingly enough, I was doing a bit of research the other day, and somebody sent me an email. One of our followers sent me an email, and he, he, he started talking about the Aquanauts. And, and, and that's cool. I know what the Aquanauts is, and uh, I, I have one of their comic books. I don't think I ever watched the Aquanauts on TV. I was too busy watching Sea Hunt. <laughs> yeah, they were on almost the same time. So he started talking, and then he started saying things that caught my interest. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought I would do a bit of research, which I did. Let me just tell you a little bit about the Aquanauts. Yeah, these guys. The Aquanauts, interestingly enough, was, was uh, produced uh, uh, by Ivan Tours yeah, of Ziv Productions, uh, same company that produced Sea Hunt. So right off the bat, I can tell you that one reason why the Aquanauts, the TV program, and some of you may have watched the Aquanauts, 1961, uh, one reason why that show came out and was relatively popular, and the reason for the, the comic book is because Sea Hunt was so popular. Well, sure, Sea Hunt was incredible. People have no idea how popular Sea Hunt was. I, there's one one figure that I read a little while ago that um, that the television studios used to used to do surveys as to what what people are watching. That way, they can find out which shows are popular and which ones is they should drop. And they would use the results of these surveys to attract advertisers. Because an advertiser, if you're going to pay for an ad on TV, he wants it to be a, a show that people are going to watch. You know, that makes perfect sense. So they would often do surveys. Now, today they do the same thing. But you don't know they're doing surveys because it's all done electronically. When you go on to TV or Netflix or whatever it is, it's recorded automatically so that the studio can show the advertiser. You see here, uh, Alec Pierce and, and Diana and all these guys, they watch this show on Thursday night. So you got to advertise on it. <laughs> they do. But back in the old days, in the 50s and 60s and 70s, pre-computers, they did it the old way with the telephone. Yes, uh, Mr. Pierce, uh, this is uh, CBS Studios, uh, and uh, we really appreciate your support. Uh, we just wanted to check quickly, don't want to keep you very long, and uh, would you please tell us, uh, assuming you're watching television right now, what TV show are you watching? They would do that, they would actually call you in the middle of the show, and, and I would slam, I'm watching c -Hunt. call back later. <laughs> but anyway, not really, but uh, they would do that. Yeah, and, and there's, there's one, magazine that I have, uh, which is a, 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 an industry magazine, meaning it doesn't go out to consumers, to people like us, it goes to the industry people and to advertise. And it stated that in one survey in New York, uh, I don't know if it was New York City or where it was, but in New York, they, <coughs> pardon me, they did a survey and they found that of the people surveyed, 47% of those people were watching Sea Hunt. Yeah. Now, here in Ontario, which is the same as New York, same time, uh, CN came on at 4.30 every afternoon. That's why I had to run home from school, so I wouldn't miss an episode. And, and uh, so what that means is at one particular time, 4.30 in the afternoon, the TV studio did a bunch of surveys, and half of the people watching television at 4.30 were watching CN. Gives you an idea of how popular it was. So it would make a lot of sense. It was doing so well that uh, Ivan Torres would say, hey, look at Sea Hunt, that game's going crazy. Let's do another one that's related to it. So they came up with the Aquanauts. Now, it wasn't quite the same as Sea Hunt. It was the same idea. They had these two guys, two good looking guys, and, um, and uh, uh, ex Navy divers, like Mike Nelson, right? And, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, they, that was the story it was about. And they were professional wreck 
hunters. Yeah, they they would die for a shipwreck and take any treasure off of it. And I guess people would pay them to do that and find stuff, and that's what they did. That was the storyline of the Aquanauts. It was just about that simple. It was exciting for a while. As it turns out, it was kind of an interesting story. As it turns out, after a few episodes, they're only worth 30, 32 episodes, only ran for one season, um, after a short while, one of the main characters, one of these two, I think it was uh, Keith Larson, one of these two uh, fellows on here, uh, had to drop out of the show. Uh, and it was kind of interesting because he was replaced by, uh, they, got a, he, he, they, they gave some excuse, he's gone, and they hired another guy, you see, to join uh, uh, Jeremy Slate, the other fellow on here, uh, to carry on with the series. The chap that they hired to uh, replace uh, Keith was a fellow by the name of Ron Eli, or Ellie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Eli, it sounds better. Ron Eli. Uh, Ron, well, what did he do, right? Ah! <laughs> Pretty interesting, because Ron Eli, not the same kind of guy, young, good strapping guy, and a scuba diver. Right? Ron Eli was the star of the 1987 Sea Hunt remake. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Eh? So he was hired to replace one of these guys on Aquanauts, which was a production of Ziv. And in 1987, when they tried to make a remake of Sihan, it was modestly successful, one season again. And, you know, I, I think that's only because Kimber Sissons was on it. She was a good-looking girl. And anyway, uh, it didn't last very long. But the fellow, the star of that was Ron Eli, who, who was on the Aquanauts. And pretty interesting. So... And the storyline was different as well. I, initially, they were wreck hunters, and you would pay them to go and find a wreck. Well, there was a recent wreck, you know, my ship went down, go and find it, or an old wreck, you know, and they would, that's what they did. Well, halfway through the season or so, uh, apparently that storyline started to get uh, dated. That people weren't so interested in that. Uh, and, and so they changed, and these guys went up and bought a dive store. <laughs> they bought a dive store. And from then on, the storyline was on land. I don't know if it was about... Cops and robbers, or kidnap kids. I'm not too sure what it was. I'm not too sure what an ex-Navy diver does when he's on land. That would be interesting. But it was on land. And they had this dive store, which was in, uh, which was in California. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, for some reason, I think the Aquanauts is a great name. But at that time, when they changed the storyline and these two guys uh, started working online, they changed the name of the show as well, the TV show, originally called the Aquanauts, right? They changed it and called it Malibu Run. Maybe you guys, some of you guys will remember Malibu Run. Now, I personally do not remember the TV show, The Aquanauts. I may go and watch a few episodes. I'm quite sure it's on YouTube. Uh, 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 I don't remember it. But maybe some of you guys do. And some of you may also remember Malibu Run. Same show, same guys. So that's all kind of interesting. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting is that uh, this was... This was uh, Produced by Ivan Torres of Zip Productions, who also did Sea Hunt, of course, and Flipper, and several other very, very well-known shows. But interestingly enough, since this ran at the same time as Sea Hunt, um, they, they swapped gear back and forth. <laughs> so these guys, they had, a, they had a filming coming up on Thursday, and so, uh, so they would, oh, well, we need, we need some double tanks and a couple of regs working to get those. Uh, well, they have a bunch of that over where we were filming Sea Hunt yesterday, so they'd bring them over and swap them back and forth. Now, that also may explain why in some of the episodes of Sea Hunt, which are strictly speaking a double hose or a two hose show, meaning all the, all the divers used two hose regulars, the old famous well-known two hose regulator style, I, every once in a while, a weird piece of gear would show up. Yeah. So there are pictures of uh, Mike Nelson using a Sportsways single hose regulator. Yeah. Well, we, now it makes sense because that's what these fellas used. In fact, in this comic book, I'll get Kevin to make a close up. You'll see that uh, these fellas are using Sportsways regulators hanging right off their gear right now. So maybe uh, see uh, the regulators were out for service and they wanted to do a filming and they needed one or go over there and grab one off the Argonaut set or whatever. I'm making up these little stories, but I think it's pretty interesting. And, and other bits and pieces move back and forth as well. The other thing I wanted to mention is that, uh, that on the Aquanauts uh, uh, TV program, uh, which ran for one season, 32 episodes. It's a lot of episodes, isn't it, in one season? But anyway, uh, I guess one a week, probably, something like that. Uh, they had some, some great stars. Now, you know in Sea Hunt, they had some incredible stars, too. Jack Nicholson, uh, Bruce Dern, uh, Robert Conrad, all kinds of guys that are famous, famous now. When they were on Sea Hunt, when, when Lloyd Bridges said, 
hey, you're looking for a job? Come on in here, young man. I can, I can give you something. To when he did that, these guys were nothing. Jack Nicholson was that nobody. Uh, yeah. uh, um, um, Leonard, Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. His ears weren't pointed at all back then. <laughs> and he was on several Sea Hunt episodes. And, uh, and uh, uh, so there were a lot of famous ones. But on this Aquanaut show, uh, it was interesting as well because there were a lot on there. Well, Russ Conway. Now, Russ Conway, you don't know him really, but Russ Conway was, I mentioned his name because he was a well known character actor at the time and he was on Sea Hunt. Uh, Peter Falk. Now, you, I think you all, if you're anywhere near my age, between 50 and 100, <laughs> almost exactly between 50 and 100, but anyway, <laughs> you everybody knows Peter Falk. Columbo, uh, in case you've forgotten, you knew the name, right? He, he, he was on the Aquaman, actually, Peter Falk was on here. Um, Carol O'Connor, Carol, Car Carol O'Connor, yeah, you know Carol O'Connor, yeah, he, he was a sheriff, what was the sheriff, what was that show? He played the sheriff in some... Heat of the Night. No, I don't know. he was on some TV show when he was, the, but he's better known as, as a Archie Bunker. Yeah, that's Carol. He was on this show. I don't know what Carol O'Connor would do in the show, but he did. Um, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, Burt Reynolds. We all know Burt Reynolds. Yeah, he became quite famous. I suspect that when he had a, 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 a bit part as a character actor on the Aquanauts working uh, with uh, Ivan Torres, I suspect he was a nobody too. And now everybody knows Burt Reynolds uh, because of his acting and also because of his playboy spread. But anyway, uh, I use the word spread uh, advisedly. Uh, James Coburn. Everybody knows James Coburn? Big, rough, tough James Coburn. So many Westerns. He was on the Aquanauts. Yeah, crazy, huh? How about um, uh, Donna Douglas? She was on uh, in Aquanauts, too. Yeah. Don you don't know Donna Douglas? Well, sure you do. That's Ellie Mae <laughs> from the Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty interesting. Um, Ken Curtis. Ken Curtis played on, uh, on the Aquanauts. What do you mean? You don't Festus, Festus from Gunsmoke. Yeah, yeah, he owned, he owned a vineyard in, in, uh, in Central California. Yeah. And, uh, and a couple other ones that are interesting. And then the last one, you'll get a kick out of this. Here's an actress who, for some reason or other, whatever she did, whatever her role was, she was on the Aquaman too, and her name was Eddie Rue McClanahan. Who the heck is Eddie Rue McClanahan? <laughs> you probably know her better as Blanche. From the Golden Girls, yeah, Blanche. You know, you know, you know, Blanche. You know the one I mean, yeah, <laughs> from from uh, the Golden Girl. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. And they only made one comic. There's only one comic, very, very much like uh, the other 1960s uh, Dell comics. Line diagrams. You can see them scuba diving here, and a uh, uh, good, uh, good story in there. Uh, ads in the front, and story on the back, and so on. So it's a pr pretty typical, very much like all the comics back then, even the Sea Hunt comics. If you've looked at those, you, you can see those on my Sea Hunt uh, playlist. But anyway, I thought you guys would enjoy that bit of information. Oh, I want to tell you one more funny story. The Aquanauts was was relatively popular one season uh, but in certain areas of the country different tv shows are more or less popular <clears throat> so a tv show that's really popular in new york city may not be popular in san francisco and vice versa well apparently the aquanauts was pretty popular in buffalo and the surrounding area whyd tv in buffalo new york ran every day for two weeks the same episode. Nobody noticed for two weeks. If you ran home, same episode. Ran home, same episode for two weeks. Ah, that's kind of cute. Cute little stories like that always make me smile. Okay, so there you go, guys. A little bit of history about uh, how wonderful it was in the 50s and the 60s, uh, scuba diving, and a bit of interesting story about the Aquanauts, which is actually pretty popular even today. Uh, it's a well-known name. Hope you enjoyed that. There's the comic, and maybe you, as I am going to do, will take a bit of time and search for the Aquanauts TV series and see what you see on there. I hope you have a good time. And that's it for this vintage scuba uh, episode from Alec Pierce Scuba. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.